I'm editing the video right now. Again, I forgot to do the intro, but part two, aluminum. Let's get into it. The gray is beautiful, bro. It came on fire, man. We have to leave the white for sure. The white looks beautiful. It looks very beautiful. We had to we had to sand it down and then it. Right now it's still drying, so it's a little weird on camera. Right now we're gonna continue measuring and cutting the aluminum pieces. It's still drying, but we're trying to hurry up because of the rain. Yeah, it's Florida not good weather. to. Uh, it's sunny for 30 minutes and then a huge storm comes in. It's not good to rush the projects, but with the weather looking like this and no days off, I'm gonna show you guys how the rivet looks when he's doing it. So guys, we bought this on Amazon. This tool, well, both these things. Uh, highly recommend it. It's gonna make life this easier. This is this is the rivet gun. How much did you pay for the rivet gun? That was like forty bucks. It was like forty bucks. There. How much did you pay for the actual like, rivets? I think fifteen to twenty bucks. Fifteen, twenty bucks. Which is rivet. aluminum as well, so we don't have to worry about. We it didn't cool. have to buy any any line or compressor because we already do have that. But if you don't have an air compressor, you're probably gonna have to buy it just to be able to do the rivets. You buy the holes for it. And And I'll get back to you guys when we finish and have done most of them. I finished them, I put them there. Um, I still have to rivet them, but this is how it's looking out so far. You can see what I was mentioning earlier. Now I'm gonna go ahead and rivet. Maybe I might, I don't know yet. Try to see if I could add other, a piece here and rivet it onto the transom. I don't know yet, maybe not. I don't wanna make holes in the transom. I'm trying to avoid making holes in the actual hole. Um, but let's see what happens. And now I'm going to have to seal it. But so far, without it being riveted in, it's uh it's a lot sturdier. So it helps these as well. It, it all benefits itself. So now I'm gonna go ahead and rivet them down and see if it holds me. See how it works. Alright guys, so I went ahead. I already riveted these two in. Sorry about that. So I believe one here, one here. So now it's gonna give this more support. And then I added a flat bar here, which is gonna be holding part of the transom. So that's gonna make it a lot stronger. You can really see it. from here, I can literally pick up the whole boat. Just right here. I can literally pick up the whole boat. So that's awesome this side too. So the best part is it's gonna be super strong and it's super lightweight. So let's get to it. This moment of truth. Let's see if it holds me. Ooh, it does. Okay, that's awesome. So I weigh uh, about 210, 215 depends what I eat. <laughs> um, but it, it's holding me. So I'm super happy with that, especially since. I'm only standing on one little area. Once we add the Kusa board, it's gonna be able to take in more weight. So that's really awesome. I didn't keep going with the beams because I'm gonna build an upper deck here. And I'm gonna put batteries, maybe the live well, I gotta see. I wanna keep most of the weight to the front because I do wanna build uh, two seats in the back so me and my little brother can sit in the back while we're driving it. And it's gonna have also a rear deck too. So the seats are gonna be foldable. 
and the front's gonna be the upper deck. So he can fish from there and I'll fish from the back. And we're gonna have the lower deck, which is gonna be here. All right guys, so the GoPro died and I got a little bit too ahead of myself, but I started working on the rear deck. Um, of course, like how I mentioned, reinforce the transom. So this is as sturdy as can be, so I'm super excited. Um, I'm not putting anything across here because once I get the motor, um, I do want to put in a gas tank in here. So I am going to put, uh, what's it called? The Kusa board is going to be able to lift up so I can get to the gas tank or see anything that's going on. But this is going to be my main area here for the gas tank. Here I might use it for storage components. So what I think I might add is maybe uh, either the Kusa board here all around except that middle section from this square because that's where the gas tank is going to go i was thinking about putting it on the side and one on this side i was going to do reserve you know one main and then one reserve but to be honest uh we're not going to be taking it long distance or anything like that and we might just buy a bigger gas tank and put it in the middle so the weight is centered so I don't have to worry about this one being full and this one being empty and then it's like this. So put the gas tank there, run the lines if I have to, nice and clean. I don't want too many lines. So I'm, that's why I'm just gonna put it right there. So go straight to the motor right there. Um, and yeah, once I start adding, once I get the crucial board, I'm gonna add it onto the floor and then I can start building the front deck. But this is how it's coming out so far. Since this is going to be a casting deck also sitting, I think I am going to add another support right here for this bracket. Because it's good. It's not going out nowhere. But I want to, you know, better safe than sorry. I don't know if I'm going to go with a flat bar or another L bracket. L2, whatever you want to call it. I got to see yet. But super excited. Super stoked. It's not going anywhere. Also left enough space so I can put a bolt through on all three sides. I'm gonna check if I add another bracket to see if it'll take up any space or if it'll do anything. I gotta order the seats so I can see where I could put it because I want it to be a nice flush mount, making the cast deck bigger. I hope this 4K quality sounds better. We actually switched to the GoPro and we have a little microphone on top. My sister, my sister back there gave me the idea. Ow. I know you did not just say sister. You what? My sister. My sister has taken over the yeah, okay. the videos, the YouTube channel, my sister. Look at her. He's, help you. He's gonna help me explain to you guys the whole process. The brains. Actually, I'm the brains. Eight inch, right? You're just the string. Eight inch on each side will give us about six inches on this side. Six inches is a lot to me. Now I started recording. Right, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys how structurally strong this is, right? And how light. How light too. Cause the aluminum and plus it's an aluminum hole, so. Everything's aluminum. And that's, that we're almost done with the rear. Sure, I think I. <laughs> yeah, you missed the line there, buddy. Oh, you gotta move it forward. Forward? Yeah. This guy, hold on. So move it forward now. Ready? Yeah. Now the, the entire thing is going forward. Go. There you go. But you guys just saw how strong it is. Okay. It's, it's really strong and it's super lightweight, so. Excited. And once we get the Kusa board and we start carpeting it, it's we gonna be great. Yeah. All right. I can't show you guys the music that's playing, but I'm gonna have to put some like I'm gonna have to put some some other audio on top of that. The Amazon driver is going crazy right now on the music. 
So before I end this video, I want to let you guys know that I will be doing a giveaway. So stay tuned. Once I hit a thousand subscribers, um, and one of these next videos, I should be letting you guys know what the giveaway is going to be. Um, I also wanted to say that I have not been posting too often because I started school and I'm also working. I have my job. So I got to this video. It took me a little while, but I also have part three, which is the transom of the John boat. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. It's going to come out and have. <coughs> oh, my God. I'm going to die. I have like two more videos coming out. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And. And last thing, a lot of people wanted me to start doing vlogs, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try. We're gonna start. We're gonna start. Uh, we're gonna try and start to do vlogs. So make sure you guys stay tuned for it. Come on, subscribe. Go follow my Instagram too. Link in in description.